Mighty, mighty librarian. This is Lauren Steiner. I am out here in front of the Westwood Charter School in Westwood where my son went to school where I'm about to talk to teachers, parents, and students about the Los Angeles teacher strike now in its second day. My name is Rosie Mora. I'm a teacher at Westwood Charter. We are an, a public affiliated charter. Teachers want to lower class sizes. We want to ask for more psychologists, nurses, librarians, all support staff, special ed staff. Um, we would like to also fight for our public school money to be spent in our public schools, not giving them to private charter schools. We are also asking for a cost of living raise and not have a contingency of taking away our health care benefits or our pension. My name is Evan Lesner. I'm a first grade teacher at Westwood Charter Elementary and I support the strike because I'm fighting for the students. Can you explain the difference between an affiliated charter and an independent charter? An affiliated charter is somebody who still falls under the umbrella of the Los Angeles Unified School District. Um, we have to reapply for our charter every five years. Um, we're still an LAUSD school. It just gives us a little more freedom to uh, enrich our curriculum uh, with our own creative input. Um, an independent charter does not fall under the umbrella of LAUSD. They take money from the district and from the public schools, but they do not have to do the same state testing that we have to do, and they don't have to answer uh, to the district like we do. I'm a special ed teacher. I want less testing. It stresses kids out. There's a lot of anxiety surrounding testing. For kids with special needs, it's all about smaller ratios. I go to multiple school sites to work with kids. Um, and I used to just be at Westwood and our numbers went down. And so it only required one special ed teacher per 28 students. And then they cover the overage with itinerants. Um, so that means there is one special ed teacher that's here all day and then I'm here two and a half days a week um, for the rest of the about 15 students that are over. Um, and this has really impacted a lot of students because there's a lot of shuffling going on and especially campuses like this that are larger that have the special ed population just not identified yet it makes it very challenging for the one full-time special ed teacher to cover all of that and so resources for special ed has, have been spread very very thin And I'm Diana. We came to support the teachers about how, how much money they get, that there's too many kids in class, 35 kids, that was a little too much, and then we lost like five. So my friend's math class is 48 kids. 48 kids. Fighting for students. Fighting for students. And for education. And for education. My name is Katie Berman, and I have one son in kindergarten here. I want to ask you how the strike is affecting you and your family. We are affected by the strike tremendously. We support the teachers 100% and we will do whatever we need to do to keep our children home to show our support. I have two children at the school. I have a kindergartner and a third grader. Are you sending them to school during the strike? Definitely not. Tell us why. Well, we have to support our teachers. Our teachers do everything they can for our children, and the least we could do is stand with them so that they can fight for what's the best for themselves and our children. Hi, Mommy! <laughs> Are you in a position to keep your kids out of school as long as it takes? Uh, luckily, I have a lot of help around me, so I have that ability to do that. However, it is hard, and but we're going to do whatever we can to keep our kids home, whether it's get family help or uh, help from other parents. Luckily, I actually am not working currently, so I'm able to stay home with my son, but I have a lot of friends who are having to find alternatives for their children because they don't have the same luxury that I have right now. So I have friends who are paying for camps for their children, who are hiring outside babysitters, um, but under no circumstances do we feel like we can cross the picket line. I have several jobs, so I, I'm, I work from home and take care of three kids and a family, and we will stay home and protest until it's resolved. Right. Because it doesn't do any good to, to do one day of just keeping him out of school. 
and then sending him right back that didn't make an impact and we're trying to help make an impact. We're doing a lot more reading, we're doing some activity, we do fun uh, learning games, so we're doing as much as we can to kind of supplement, but nothing will take the place of what our teachers do for our kids. We're trying to take advantage of the all the museums that are uh, free right now. We saw a movie today. I would like to do some educational things, so whether it's outside the classroom education, such as at museums, um, or the metro is also free, so that, depending on the weather, will be an option for us. The first day we came to support the strike. We got up and came in the rain, and we, we protested and we walked and wore our red. And then yesterday I, I played like spelling games because I have to do my spelling. Yes, I, I would do at school, but since I'm not at school, I have to do some of my homework at home. The strike has been affecting us quite a lot. Um, my daughter, Myra, who goes to first grade, uh, is uh, finding it very odd not seeing her peers, not seeing her teacher. and So it's affecting her psychologically, why this is happening. And for us, it's a physical uh, issue, like dropping her up, picking her up. So those kind of like safety issues. So I'm here early to pick her up because I was worried that she might not have enough people around her. <laughs> and I do see like the commitment on part of the teachers they have been putting in. And so I really respect uh, the purpose of the strike, yeah. Do you know why the teachers are on strike? Because they want to get paid more money. How long can you hold out without getting paid? It's tough. I am a single parent. I cannot afford this, but I need to do what's right for all teachers, future, now. Um, we just need to do what we need to do for teachers and for students and for all schools, for all of public schools. We need to keep public schools. He wants to get rid of public schools. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Austin Butner has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Austin Butner has got to go. Now, what do you say to Austin Butner who says that there is not enough money for this? He's, he needs to show us his documentation that says he has no money because we, our UTLA union says we do have money in reserves, plenty of it. And if he doesn't have enough money, he needs to go to the state and ask for more money. I think it's laughable because I think that there is a lot of money, it's just where they choose to allocate it. And I have friends that do a lot of work within LAUSD and they constantly tell me how much LAUSD wastes in the other avenues. They do engineering and LAUSD, LAUSD um, makes mistakes, then repays to correct the mistakes even when they tell them not to do those things. So talking to other parents and people that are involved, I've realized how much money we just waste within our um, district. That doesn't mean there's not the money, it just means we're allocating it in an inappropriate way. Do you have uh, plans for your daughter if the strike should be extended? No, we're taking it day by day. If there's a strike tomorrow, he told us we could go to Dave & Buster's and send this half price off.